In this video, we'll talk about data types and variables in Java. Variables allows us to store data that will be used inside our program. Data types determines what kind of data will be stored on a variable. Here is a list of the most common data types that we'll be using all throughout the discussions in Quick Start with Java. First on the list are the three most common numeric data types, so they store numerical values. First is the integer data type, which uses the int keyword. This is used for storing whole numbers, both negative and positive values. The floating point data type uses the keyword float, allows decimal values. The double data type uses the keyword double, has a wider range than float. You can use double for a more precise and accurate result. The character data type uses the keyword char, is used for storing single characters, and the values are written inside a pair of single quotes. The string data type uses the keyword string, Take note that the S starts with a capital letter. This is used for storing multiple characters or a string of characters, which are written inside a pair of double quotes. Finally, we have the Boolean data type. It's written using the keyword Boolean with a capital B. This data type only accepts two types of values, true or false. Here in NetBeans, I have a fresh project. All codes will be written inside the main method. Here are the things that you need to learn in order to use variables inside your program. Declare a variable, assign values to a variable, declare and initialize a variable, change values of a variable, and finally access values of a variable. So let's learn the first one, declaring a variable. So to declare a variable, you have to follow a simple syntax. You need to indicate the data type by using the keywords that we discussed a while ago. So for integer, we use the keyword int, and then we give it a name. So let's give it a name, num1, semicolon to end the statement. Next is assigning values to a variable. To assign a value to a variable, first make sure that it is declared. Next thing to do is call its name, so num1. We're going to use the assignment operator, the equal symbol, and assign a numeric value. If we try to assign a decimal value on an int, it's going to give us an error. Okay, Because remember, integer only accepts whole numbers. The next thing is declaring and initializing. So let's do that. I'm going to declare another variable. It's going to be a float. I'm going to call it num2. So instead of terminating the statement, we're going to assign a value right away using the equal symbol and then giving it a value. Okay. What you have to remember for floating point variables, you will have to add the letter F after the value to make it a float. Otherwise, it's going to become a double value. Changing the values. To change a value, you simply call the variable name and assign a new value. Accessing the values, I'm going to write a print line statement. To access a value of a variable, you simply call the variable name. So let's take a look at our code. So initially, num1 has a value of 123, but we changed it in line 15. To 555. Now, if we build and run, it's going to say 555 because the initial value of 123 has been overwritten in line 15. 